Hello everybody, my name is Ash and I'm bringing you some Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, last episode we were do oh, last two episodes we were doing uh, Duke's Archives. Uh, this episode we're doing... Thief. Scaleless. Which is a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Now the crystalline armor actually uh, has <coughs> decent curse resistance, but we can't upgrade it, so it's uh, it's a no. So does the maiden suit outfit? Not sure about the channelers set, but. Anyway, we're just getting rid of a few things. I don't think we'll have Havel's Ring as much anymore, but whatever. Yeah, gold summon sign there as well. Uh, all right. <coughs> all I want to do is actually switch switch my armor. So we've got plenty. of twinkling to go around, so. Poise is about the same. Uh, gauntlets aren't as good. Thief mask. There we go. We've got a bit of a bit of defense, bit of a slight defense boot, defensive boost there. Uh, yeah, what? No, pass on that. So this boss uh, has quite an annoying tail cut that we need to do. <laughs> so this might be a long video or a very short video. There is a technique to doing it, but I always find myself getting butt slammed to death. I uh, got the blood shield on. I mean that <coughs> that boosts curse resistance anyway, so it's a handy shield to have. We don't have any grass grass shield, so our stamina recovery is going to be a bit limited. But we'll have power within cooking, so um, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And that gold golem is also dead because it fell off and it doesn't respawn. It doesn't contain an NPC either, it's the only golden golem that, uh, that doesn't contain an NPC. And I don't know why it's on the bridge here. I'm pretty sure that's just a blue trunk. Just run ahead like a madman. Well, these guys are a fucking pain. And we did f see a few in Ash Lake, but we never actually engaged with them because we were too busy running from the Hydra. But they can do a bit, quite a bit of damage. And they also 
have a chance to drop purging stones, which uh, heals, heals cur curses. And more importantly, Slink and Titanite. That sound, oh god, he's got friends. And look at that, he just took, just blasted through my shield completely. And yeah. And fighting more than one leads to shit like that, so. Help! Move! Can't remember if they're weak to fire or not, but we'll find out. It's a good idea to uh, kill all of them for standing come through here because they will follow you into the boss fog and that can create problems. Yeah, cool. No, really cool. I like it. I like. I like getting killed by bullshit like that. What the fuck? The guy literally like couldn't fucking move. Like, I fucking hate them. Okay, first thing we're gonna do after this, after we do this area, is we're gonna go and get a plus fifteen weapon because it's it's getting a uh, it's getting to that point. <laughs> it's getting to that point where we're kind of a. Uh, not doing enough damage to fucking even kill ads. Kill ads. This is not destiny. Killing uh, the basic, basic enemies. They are pretty annoying. I mean, I guess I could have used Wrath of the Gods, but I. Well, I guess I should use Wrath of the Gods, actually. They're going to be grouped up like that. I don't think Fire was really much of a... Did much of a buff, but... Uh, I figured, you know, it's better than nothing. That's another gold golem. Again, he has no, no uh, NPC inside him. Ring of the Firstborn. If we get them all together, we might be able to. Uh, do some work. Oh, so there's six of them in this area. Six. What I need to do is kite them. So they're all together. Like the very most out of uh, Wrath of the Gods. I don't think I'll have enough to kill them though. Wait a minute. Uh, there we go, got him. Oh, there's still two left. There's still three left. But it required a fucking ring to do as well, to you do that as well. guys can drop twinkling so if you want to farm for twinkling and you've got a strong enough weapon to consistently do so like a black knight weapon uh, this is where you'd want to do it Just farm them farm them and farm them all right now is the annoying part 
as annoying as what we just did was, it's not the annoying part. Yeah, there we go. So I guess the technique is we're supposed to go here. He'll use a, an attack that will break his own crystal. Which we will run over here. Fuck up his tail. There we go. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually did that. <laughs> now he'll do his tail slam. It's also extremely frustrating. Like, if you don't get his tail off, he'll constantly spam that every time you get close to his tails. So, anyway, now we just... Beat the shit out of him. ignore all of his attacks, despite the fact that it's cursing us. cursing us but it's not killing us. Let it go down a bit, there we are. We also have power within so that's why it looks like uh, the curse is doing a lot worse than it is. I want spamming. Oh god, I killed him. Oh, I haven't. I've killed him yet. Oh yeah, yeah, I have. There we go. The Queefed Lord Soul Shard, and we defeated Seath the Scaleless with a silver trophy. I've oh, got one humanity. How about that? Okay, that went. That went. That went really well, and we also have enough to buy our spells. So we're going to do that right now, and we're going to get another trophy. To finish off, so here we are the Duke's archives. So that went perfectly as planned. Uh, usually, uh, I was I was worried then because I had a plus ten weapon and uh, it took quite a few hits to get his tail off. I was like, oh my god! But luckily, luck was in, luck was on my side for once, and uh, I managed to uh, get him. Get it sorted. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, key items. Bequeath Lord Soul. Soul of the Albino, Seif the Scaleless, a frag fragment of the Lord Soul discovered at the dawn of Age of Fire. Seif allied with Lord Gwyn and turned upon the dragons. For this, he was awarded dukedom, embraced by the royalty, and given a fragment of the Great Soul. Although it's just a piece, it should still satiate the, uh, satiate the uh, Lord Vessel. Oh, hello there. Where have you been? Time is a resource. Okay, purchase item. So, finally, we can get Crystal Soul Spear and Home in Crystal Mass. But if you know, I don't remember how you were, I can't, I can't remember the death of the, the undead. Uh, it was, uh, it was in the open world. Um, where's it? Where did you the other one for a second? And with that, as soon as you buy all of his per 
spells, he starts slipping into madness. Come again. The knowledge here. Hello there. Oh, I understand. We are in the midst of a revolution. With that, he should move locations. Oh, there you are. It's been a while. Or were you just here? This fascinating place defeats my sense of time. Oh, or Oh, do we have, do we actually have to buy all of his smaller spells as well, just just so he can disappear? I think so. Come again. <laughs> don't Did know. I don't think. I don't think so. But I'm going to have to buy buy all of his shit again just to be safe. It's a lot of damage for an arrow, that. I hate that. I hate that how they disappear as soon as you touch them. There we go. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. Oh, 
Oh wow, there's, there's a speller that cost eight thousand. Come on. Come again. Come on. Okay, I'll run down into the gardens then. Let's see how many uh, souls we get for killing these stu this stupid tree over here. Blue chunk, big deal. Wasn't even enough to kill one of them. Oh, I do have a gold pine resin, I forgot I had that. Try, I think I I think I still have that club, don't I? That does not do much much more damage. Crystal halberd. Uh, sure, why not? Pretty sure they could resist crystal weapons. On seeing that they made a crystal. Yeah, that's good damage. Okay, crystal weapon, definitely the best, crystal halber, definitely the better option for defeating tougher enemies. You know, the best thing about crystal weapons is, uh, um, you can actually, uh, inf like, buff it with a spell as well. Step that, but I guess I can't. There we go. We'll see what that message says just for the hell of it. Oh yeah, I imagine killing uh, these guys might be a bit easier as well. With a crystal halberd. Oh, 
Eh, not much better. How much do we do by itself? 315. One handed, 351. 619. Booyaka, booyaka! Yeah, there you go. Everyone likes Raymond Stereo. Of course, they still have resistances, so you won't get 619 damage. Stone, twinkling. I didn't know. I actually saw the glow of the item then as well, which I'd never seen before. I always like, I, like I never saw it in the original Dark Souls, so I f always figured, hey, it's pretty cool that it, you're like grabbing it out of their mouths. Now you can actually see the uh, pickup, like glowing through the floor because of the enhanced lighting effects that came with this remaster. Kind of kills it. could farm these guys all day for Twinkle Insight Night, but I won't because this is a video for a video walkthrough which with a lot of diversion in it and I've got the souls I need. I came here by accident. to Duke and buy that last spell off of him. Again. Who are you? Stay clear. Stay clear of my work. Curses upon you. How dare you disturb me? Who are you? Stay clear. And now he will move to his final location, and that's where we'll get our final spell. Yes, we've got one spell left to, to pick up. And we will see if we actually need the DLC to get this trophy. <laughs> if we do, well, shit. We get a spell, we get a soul of a great hero, which we found in we found one in Lost Eyes Lift, we can find another one here. Some cursed bodies here. And also a unique item. Well, it's not unique, but it's a it's a it's a special item, it's an ember. And with that ember we can take take it to a Another blacksmith. Anyway, there's uh, there's our guy. Look at him; he's fucking naked. Now, unlike he's using a new spell as well. 
No. Let's point out that he hasn't actually gone hollow. He's just gone insane. It's kind of the same story as Soler. Like he d he just goes mad with the knowledge that he's learned. He's using like crystal magic now. I don't think so. And that is the end of Master Logan and White Dragon Breath. There we go. Which I believe is all of our sorceries. Yeah? Yeah? Uh... What are we missing? <laughs> we're supposed to get all that. We're supposed to get the trophy for all tr all sorceries now. What's going on, sorceries? Why isn't it? Not, why is the trophy not popping? Don't tell me we need. Don't tell me we need the tro the DLC tr spells. That's not good. That's not good at all. trying to think now what the hell are we missing we should have everything hmm oh we no oh wait hold on great solar all great solar all heavy uh. Oh, I know what we're missing. I know what we're missing. Remedy. That I mean, we've got remedy, but remedy just reminded me what we're missing. Ash, you are a fucking idiot. Luckily, this this next this last spell is actually what where we're gonna is is located in the place that we want to go now. So let's uh. Ash, you just had a brain fart. Okay. Anyway, that was C for Scaleless and Big Hat Logan. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to get the Soul of, you know, whatever. Forgot to get the Soul of the Great Hero. I'll get that at a later date off camera. I'm going to warp and go to Firelink Shrine. That was uh, Duke's Ar That was. We're pretty much finished with the Duke's Archives now. We can talk to uh, Zeglin, actually, in the uh, Firelink Shrine. Oop, there she is. But uh, I'm going to uh, rest at a bonfire and I'm going to call this an episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.